all right youtube i am back with another video today i'm going to be showing you how i make one of the most popular side dishes potato salad let's jump into the video okay so excuse me how i got this camera sideways i'm still getting used to this but you're going to need some uh, sweet relish and also some black pepper uh, this is Duke's mayonnaise. Uh, this is the only mayonnaise I use. I think it's the best mayonnaise. Don't fight me on that. I also use five bald eggs and uh, yellow potatoes. All right. Okay, guys. So what I did first is I washed my potatoes really well. And then I fold them by fold the pot back up with water, just covering the potatoes, and I added my salt also. All right, so after I got my potatoes in the pot and uh, salt in my water, I just put it on the fire and just let it slowly come up to a boil. And I let these boil for about 10 minutes before I came in and gave it a uh, test just to see how tender they were. I don't want to cook these too long because uh, I'm not making mashed potatoes. But I definitely don't want these to be undercooked either. I've had a lot of potato salads that were still, the potatoes were still pretty crunchy and that was just horrible. So I tested it once and then I let it continue to boil. And then I came back in maybe about another five minutes and I tested it again. And this time you could see. Uh, once I prick it with the knife, and you see that it kind of separates like that. That's basically what I want, and you can see how the knife kind of just went straight in. That's exactly what you want. Okay, so we got our potatoes done. I went on ahead and screened off all of the water. And then I'm just adding this to my glass dish now. And I just want to let this cool, maybe for about five minutes. I don't want it to cool completely because I like mixing my uh, salad while it's still kind of warm and it just absorbs everything so much better. So I'll just let this just kind of cool for maybe five minutes until it's just a little residual steam coming off of it. And then I'll go ahead and start adding my uh, other ingredients to this. Okay, so now that my uh, potatoes have cooled down some, I'm going to come in and I'm going to add in my mayo. And once I get my mayo added in, then I'll come in and I'll add my sweet relish. And uh, we'll give that a mix. Now, I don't like adding all of the mayo or all of the relish uh, at once because I like uh, letting my potato salad sit overnight in the refrigerator until the next day. And what's going to happen is those potatoes... Being that it's still warm, it's going to absorb a lot of the uh, mayo and a lot of the juice off of the relish. And I just want to see how it, the consistency of it is going to look uh, overnight. So I just get everything incorporated first, give it a good mix. And then what I'll do is I'll add some, uh, some black pepper to this also. So once I get my black pepper added in and give everything just a good mix, I'll put it in the refrigerator overnight and then we'll check it the next morning, see how the consistency is, if we need to add any more mayo or any more relish. And after that, our salad will be basically done. All right, guys, so it's the next morning and this is how our salad looked. You can tell that it did absorb. Uh, some of that meal that I added to it the night before, but it still has a pretty good uh, consistency that I like. Um, not loose at all. I don't like a loose potato salad that's running all over the plate. So this looks good, but I'm going to add a little bit more meal to this to get that real consistency that I like. So I'm coming in with another scoop of meal and I'm going to add my bald eggs to this. I don't like for my eggs to be uh, chopped real fine, so you can see I still have them in pretty good chunks. I like for people to actually bite down on the eggs when they taste it. 
So I'm just going to give this just a good mix. And it may seem like the eggs are going to make it a little bit dry. But this could also use some more sweet relish. And once I put that in, the juice off of that is going to uh, compensate for adding the eggs. And it's going to have just a nice smooth consistency. All right, guys. So I'm just giving this a taste now to see if everything is on point. I know I don't need to add any salt to this because the mayo has salt. And I salted my uh, potatoes really well at first. So I'm just adding the rest of my sweet relish to this. And then I'm going to come in and I felt like it needed a little bit more black pepper. So I added my, uh, added just a little bit more black pepper to it. And then you just want to give it just a good stir. And uh, that relish is going to give it perfect consistency that I want nothing too loose so just running all over the place like some potato salads I've seen that's why when you go to a function everyone wants to know who made the potato salad because not everyone can make potato salad <laughs> all right guys but this dish is done all right this is the final plating of my potato salad I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up Leave me a comment and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. There's more content coming and I thank you for watching guys. Peace.